Good morning, my friends. It's Sunday, July 11th, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun. The cat may run through here, and I have this beautiful cross that's helping me pray. Today is our day of worship, the first day of the week, and we remember a story today about a plumb line. Amos, the prophet, talks about how in order to measure a wall, how straight it was, they would take a string with a rock on the bottom and simply hold it up and see if the wall was straight. Very simple. Sometimes in our lives, we need a plumb line as well. We need someone who shows us if we're in the right direction growing or if we are getting bent. John the Baptist was such a person. He told the truth and in the face of the truth, sometimes people didn't measure up. When King Herod took his brother's wife for his wife, John the Baptist just said openly, that's not right. That's not lawful to take your brother's wife. Something that everybody knew, but he spoke the truth without fear. And Herodias, the wife, who no doubt was flattered to be taken from one brother to the other, hated John the Baptist. Why? Because he made her look bad. You see, when there's a plumb line, and if you're not doing the right thing, you're liable to hate that plumb line for showing you that you're not going in the right direction, especially if you don't care about what is right and wrong, but instead care about your reputation or what people think of you. So Herodias wants John the Baptist dead. She uses her daughter to seduce her husband and all of her, his friends. And when they say, you've danced so beautifully, we'll give you whatever you want. The daughter, her mother's daughter, asks for the head of John the Baptist on a platter because he told the truth. So what happens when we make what people think of us more important than what God thinks? Part of us dies inside. I think it's most important that we learn to tell the truth, even a brutal truth, if that is what needs to happen. It's okay to fail and make mistakes. What's not okay is when we don't try to right ourselves again. John the Baptist died because he told the truth. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. We thank you, Lord, for the gift of this day. We ask you to guide us as we try to live our lives for you and for no one else. Guide us to speak the truth. Guide us to care more for you than the opinion of others. Give us work to do today and help us not be afraid to measure that work according to your word. Lord, we ask you to bless those who are sick today, those who are dying, those who are hungry. We ask you to embrace the soul of Lori Braddock and all those who have died. Give us peace, Lord, in our time. Peace in Haiti, peace in the Middle East, peace in Afghanistan. Blanket this world with your loving grace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.